Hey, my name's Stephen Bailey. Um, I'm a front house engineer. Work with uh, Matt Redman and Charlie Hall, Christian Stanfill, um, and John Mark McMillan. And uh, I'm here to show you my arsenal of uh, Waves plugins. Uh, I've been wa using Waves for uh, a few years now. Um, starting to, you know, as time goes on, I'm starting to use them more and more to so get more familiar with them. But um, definitely have some favorites, and um, I'll show you which ones they are. So if you're looking somewhere to start um, in the massive library of Waves plugins, I think a great starting point is the CLA Classic Compressors. I use them on just about literally everything. They're definitely my favorite on drums. Uh, the 76 is on all drums, um, like the Blackie on the on kick and toms, and uh, the Bluey on snare. And the, I've been really using it a lot on the toms lately. Uh, I feel like it's a... Uh, really helps uh, transients come through. It just sounds, it just makes drums sound massive. Um, the CLA 3A I've been using on bass and electric guitars and acoustic guitars and sometimes strings. And also the 2A I've been using on vocals. It's a great compressor for vocals. I have one routed individually to each vocal if I can. It's hard to explain what it really does, but the uh, cliche of warms it up kind of thing. I think it really does. It just smooths it out. It's great. It really, uh, you can definitely tell when you A and B it. It uh, definitely adds a lot of character to it that is good and it really translates well in life. So we're here at Passion for uh, Matt Redman's scene, this particular uh, song. He has a, a guy who's rapping in a room this big to get the vocal to really uh, cut. Um, I've got a 76 on it. Bluey, I really like the character that Bluey adds to it, um, and it's really compressed. And then also I have a vocal writer on it. So, so in order to really get the, the level consistent and not squash the vocal to where the intelligibility suffers, a vocal writer is perfect. And I've got a, a fast response, obviously, because he's singing very fast. Um, and it really works great. There's no artifacts, and uh, in a you know in a room this big, it's pretty much necessary to get a really good uh, vocal. So lately, I've been using the L2 on the master bus as the very last thing in line. Um, I don't put too much. I don't pull the threshold down too much. I pull it down a little bit, but it, even just like right here, I have it down 3 dB, and it's just amazing when I pull this in and out of the chain, it just makes such a huge difference. A lot of stuff that doesn't normally come through really pops out. The uh, like ghost notes on drums and some you know guitar stuff and even some key stuff, it really brings it to the surface. And it also, if you have any holes or gaps in your mix, it really kind of fills everything out. And it's a great thing to have, I think, on the, on the master bus as a, your last, last in line. The great thing about Waves, too, is that you use them live, but you also um, use them in Pro Tools at home, so you can dial up presets and um, you know, figure out exactly what you want on sound on certain things you know, at home on your computer in Pro Tools. And then you bring them here, and then you have a really good idea of what you're going to get out of the plugins you know, in a live setting.